Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about the area of parts of circles. Let's go ahead and get right into it. The first area we're going to discuss is the area of a sector of a circle. I've drawn a picture of it right here. The green wedge is the arc, uh, pardon me, is the sector of a circle. Um, the sector of the circle is like a, a pizza pie, pie slice, or just a pie slice. It's the proportion of the circle in green. So there's some things we need to know about a sector. First of all, a sector is made up of two radii and, and the relationship between the two radii and the outer edge of the circle. The portion of the circle that is cut out by the, rec by the sector is known as the arc. So the arc is the portion right here. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, we know that. So the side length of the sectors are the lengths of R and the arc is the distance right here. Now, there's an angle on the interior of the circle. The angle measure from here to here, we're gonna call theta. That's also how we describe the arc length as well. So the arc is sometimes referred to as the angle. For instance, if this were a 30 degree angle, we would say the arc is 30 degrees. Okay, so how do we find the area of the sector? The area of the sector is pretty straightforward, actually. We take the area of the entire circle, which is pi r squared, and we say, well, how much of the circle? It's a proportion of theta over 360. So this is the formula for the area of a sector. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. Okay, so here we have a sector and I want to find the area of this sector. The information I need in order to find the area of a sector is the radius of the circle and the angle um, that the arc uh, cuts out of the circle. So we'll call this a 30, or pardon me, a 60 degree angle here. And we're going to make this a radius of 5. So this is my setup, a 60 degree arc cut out, that is a 60 degree sector cut out of the circle, and a radius of 5. So what I'm going to do here to find the area of the sector is I'm going to take the area of the entire circle, pi r squared, and I'm going to take a fraction of that. I'm going to take the angle over the total, over 360. So let's plug in. Pi is just a number. 5 squared times 60, 3 sixtieths. So it's going to be pi times 25 times 6 three sixtieths is 1 sixth. So I can write this as 25 pi over 6. So the arc is 1 sixth of the total, and the total is pi r squared. All right, now let's take a look at the area of a segment. A segment is the area that's cut out by a chord of the circle. Any segment from uh, that has two endpoints on the circle is known as a chord. So this is a chord of the circle from this point to this point. The area that is cut out by that we call a segment. Now I've drawn some other lines on here that are going to help us compute the area of the green, and the area of a segment. And here's how we're going to do it. We know that the distance from the center of the circle to the point endpoints of the chord are the radius of the circle, or r. We can define the length of the chord as, we'll, we'll use the letters uh, C, so it uh, conforms with what we're doing already. Okay, C for chord length. And the distance from the center of the circle to the chord, we're going to call H. Also notice that we still have an arc here, and the arc will have a, an angle associated with it as well. So, the area of the segment is going to be the area of the sector that's cut out minus the area of this isosceles triangle in the middle of the circle, which is going to be 1 half the base, which is C, times the height. And that's the area of our segment. Let's try to figure out um, how to find the area of an actual segment. So now let's find the area of a segment. 
what I've done here is I've drawn a picture with a segment. The segment is in blue. And I've drawn a, uh, the radius of this circle, which is 6 to the edge of each of these segments. Now, this is kind of a special case, but it's a nice special case that we can work with. What I need here to find the area is I need the area of the sector, which is this region here, um, and I need the area of the triangle, which is this region here. So I'm, again, looking for the area, which will be pi r squared times theta over 360. And subtract out the area of the triangle, 1 half base times height. And you can use any letters you want here because all we're thinking about is a triangle here. The area of this triangle, I'm going to go ahead and use the traditional 1 half base times height in this formulation. Okay, let's see what we have here. We know we have a 90 degree angle here meaning this arc length is 90 degrees. Or rather, the arc is 90 degrees. So what does that mean? That means that when looking for the area of the sector, all I need to do is take pi times r, which is 6, times 90 over 360, which will be 1 quarter. Then I'll subtract out the area of this uh, triangle. Notice this area, this triangle has a base of 6 and a height of 6 because this is also a radius that meets at a right angle. So I'm going to do 1 half base times height. So if I simplify this a little bit, I get 36, I get 1 quarter times 36 pi minus, this is 6 times 6 divided by 2, 18. Okay, so I can simplify this even further. 36 divided by 4 is 9 pi minus 18. And finally comes the area of an annulus. Now an annulus is actually the easiest of the three shapes. An annulus is simply like a donut. It's two circles, one inside the other. We call them concentric circles because they share the same center, concentric. So we have an annulus, which is the region around here which is really all it is, is a big circle, which has a radius from the center to the outside, and a smaller circle, which has a radius from the center to here. And all we have to do is find the area of the big circle and subtract the area of the small circle. So if we call the big circle capital R for the radius of the big circle, and small r for the radius of the small circle, the area of an annulus is simply pi times the big R squared minus pi times a small r squared. Let me go ahead and pi times a small r squared. And that's all we have to do for an annulus. Okay, so let's find the area of an annulus. I've shaded the annulus in gray now. And I'm going to make a, a problem out here where I'm going to have two radii. The outer circle has a radius. Make this a radius of 10. And the inner circle We'll say it has a radius of 4. So if I want to find the area of the shaded region, all I need to do is find the difference between the larger area and the smaller area. So my area is going to be pi times the bigger area, sorry, the bigger radius squared minus pi times the smaller radius squared. In our case, that's pi is just a number, times 10 squared minus pi times 4 squared. So 100 pi minus 16 pi. Well, how many pi's is that? That's going to be 76, pardon me, 86 pi. And that's it. So this area of the shaded region is 86 pi. Thanks for watching, guys.